Okay, today uh, we are going to see and learn some uh, what's the difference between uh, the different the different kind of fabric we use or is used in the industry. Uh, this time I'm going to take you through. Uh, we have uh, silen silen nylon. Uh, it's silicone on both sides. I have uh, nylon with silicon on one side, side and uh, polyurethane on the other side. I would call it just uh, PU from now on. We have uh, polyester, ripstop polyester with uh, PU on one side and silicon on the other side. And finally, polyester. It's also called called sil poly, with uh, silicon on both sides. It's very interesting to see how how uh, how this fabric performs depending on what you apply to them, because these fabrics are not waterproof, uh, but they need to be applied a sealant to be waterproof and for that uh, we can use uh, silicon or PU that's the most common uh, common uh, uh, common uh, appliances we use uh, in the in the industry so I will try to show you the strength of these materials and uh, I will also try to show you how these the strength in this fabric uh, differences when uh, depending on what uh, what the waterproofing we use and how uh, how uh, I will do this is by penetrating the fabric with this all uh, like this I will penetrate the all through this fabric uh, a centimeter and I will perform a rip on this fabric like this I will do it with polyester seal poly I will do it with uh, polyester with PU silicone and I will do it with uh, nylon uh, PU and silicone and I will do it with nylon silicone on, uh, silicone on both sides called uh, silicone and I, uh, I believe you will be surprised what uh, what you will see, how uh, how the appliance affect the strength of the material. I will perform the the measurement three times, and to make average of the findings because the readings will be somewhat uh, different between each time. So it's uh, not always always easy with this equipment to 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 read an exact reading every time so uh, I will uh, make an average uh, for each fabric that all these fabrics uh, has the same thickness of the thread in the fabric uh, with that said uh, the thickness of the thread is measured in the in the denier and I will, uh, I, for now I will just say D so all these fabrics both the polyester and the nylon has 40 D uh, uh, in regards to the thickness of the thread in in, in, in in the fabric. The thread is if you if you study uh, a ripstop nylon or polyester in sunlight, you will see uh, threads going vertical and horizontal in the fabric. These are uh, these are measured in different uh, thickness and so on. Uh, Mainly, if you have a thicker thread, the fabric gets heavier. heavier. So, for very lightweight uh, fabrics, uh, you need a, a very thin thread. For example, twenty or fifteen uh, D. Uh, so it's a compromise. Uh, you have something also called thread count, how how the density of of the thread, but. Uh, all these have, have, have the same thickness of the ripstop thread in, in, in the fabric. Uh, this time 
I have uh, nylon and I have polyester. Polyester is uh, somewhat underestimated, I think, because uh, it's uh, used uh, on mainly low end tent and so on. But uh, polyester has many good uh, qualities uh, and so on. Nylon is uh, somewhat more expensive material. It's uh, I will show you that it also uh, has a higher tear strength. Uh, but nylon have some qualities that uh, polyester don't, and polyester have some qualities that nylon don't. Uh, we, in our tents, use uh, uh, nylon 66. There are uh, different kinds of nylon used in the tent industry. You have nylon, nylon 6, and nylon 66. We use nylon 66 because it's considered as a high tense, tensity uh, fabric and it's also the, the, the creme, creme de la creme uh, in, the, uh, in the fabric uh, based on nylon. So uh, on the lower part you have a nylon, you have nylon 6 and you have nylon 66. I'll start off with the polyester, poly, uh, seal poly, that's polyester with silicon on both sides. So some, some of the benefits of uh, silicon used in fabric is that the silicon penetrates the fabric it's, uh, and, and lubricate the fabric, which makes them very flexible. They, they, uh, they uh, move and toss between each other and uh, which makes the fabric um, more stronger a lot more stronger if you use the fabric without the silicone so I, I will perform a test now with the seal poly polyester with silicone on both sides So that was a seal poly, uh, three readings, and I will uh, I will uh, calculate the average of these readings and uh, and uh, display it uh, here. So uh, let's see what what's happened if we replace one side of uh, this polyester with the uh, replace the, si the silicone with PU and the reason the PU is used mainly everywhere uh, on tents is because nothing bites on silicone. Uh, so the PU is applied on the inside of the fabric to be able to uh, tape this uh, seam sealing uh, tape on the inside. Uh, so we will see what what happens to the fabric uh, in regards of strength when the PU is applied to the fabric. This time polyester. Yeah, it's, uh, it's quite... Uh, drastic the difference between when removing the silicone and uh, replacing it with the PU. As you can see from these uh, readings, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, dramatic. So this is the reason why even though uh, you get uh, the, the seams completely uh, waterproof from a uh, factory uh, when using PU, we uh, our our choice is to use silicone on both sides. Uh, the drawback is that uh, uh, the seams are not one hundred percent waterproof, but needs to be lubricated with uh, some silicone by uh, by end user when the tent is received. 
And uh, the profit from this is that you, you, you get a temp that will last from years and years and year, years and, uh, and, uh, and will uh, serve you very well in, uh, in, in the most years, years to come. So there are many, many, uh, many uh, uh, benefits uh, with uh, silicon, uh, but the main benefit with PU is that you get these uh, water sealed uh, seams from the factory. Uh, but as you see, uh, the strength of the fabric is, is reduced uh, uh, a, a lot when used PU. So, uh, this was polyester, and I will now uh, we'll show you the nylon, nylon 66, with and uh, without the PU. Yeah, and uh, I will now perform a test with, uh, with uh, nylon 66, silicon coated on both sides. So this was uh, nylon uh, 66 uh, with uh, silicone on both sides. Uh, and now look what happens when we take the nylon 66 and replace one of the sides uh, impregnated with the uh, silicone and uh, replace it with the uh, PU instead. Let's uh, let's see at the read. Let, let, let's see. Uh, the measurements, what uh, what they tell us. Yeah, it's it's surprising, yeah. and as you see, the strength of the fabric uh, decreases dramatically when used uh, when using uh, PU. As, a, as an impregnation on the fabric. So this is why we use, we prefer to use silicone on both sides of the fabric because we think that you benefit the most from it in, 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 in the long run. So even though uh, the seams are not 100% waterproof with the with silicon because you are not able to um, sim seal it from the factory so we think that's a minor issue uh, in regards of what you gain in in, uh, in in the strength of the fabric when when using uh, only silicon but of course the, the seams are uh, or pretty much uh, waterproof and uh, you probably will see that the condensation on the inside of the tent are far more are a challenge uh, compared to what uh, what uh, actually gets through the seams. Uh, so uh, a lot of a lot of campers uh, are confused or don't see. Uh, what, where the, the moisture, where the water come from. Because when you see water on the, on the inside of the fabric, uh, when it's raining, it's most probably it's condensation you see and not water that has come through, this, through the seams. So if you want to, uh, if you want to avoid uh, condensation uh, on, on the inside, use an inner tent or use some, some sort of heating or good ventilation to avoid the condensation on the inside. And you will see that uh, there is uh, more or less nothing uh, of, of the water, the, the, the rain from the outside that comes through the seams, even though you haven't uh, been lubricating them with uh, silicone. So I've been showing you nylon 66 and uh, polyester, rip, both ripstop rip uh, 40D. Uh, nylon 66 is uh, 
consider as the high tensity in nylon, or the creme de, de la creme in, uh, in nylon. Uh, I also have a nylon 6, so I will uh, show you how this performs compared to the nylon 66. Uh, nylon 6, D6 is considerably, considerably more uh, expensive than uh, nylon 6, even though nylon 6 is also very high end uh, nylon. But uh, I will try to show you that, that there is a difference, and, uh, and uh, nylon 66 uh, is uh, one of the reasons why. Uh, our products is a bit more, uh, is uh, somewhat more expensive, uh, but uh, you as a end user get a really high end and, uh, and quality product. But I will show you nylon six and how how this perform. Yeah, that was uh, nylon six uh, with silicone on both sides, uh, 40D. So I will co compare them for you, the average, the tree measurement, and compare them with nylon 66. The strength is one thing, uh, but there are other other uh, benefits from with nylon 66 uh, compared to nylon six. Yeah, and uh, finally. We have a nylon 6 with silicon on one side and a PU on the other side. You see, the PU makes the fabric a bit glossy and so on, so you can easily identify if it's a PU uh, used on, on the fabric. Many, uh, many man manufacturers also use PU on both sides and don't use silicon at all. Uh, but this is our nylon 40D, the silicon one side, PU on the other side. Yeah, that was uh, nylon six coated with PU on uh, on the inside and silicon on the outside. As you as you can see, it's a dramatical difference also here. Uh, like all the other fabrics when used uh, PU. So I hope you learned something of why we do as we do uh, in regards of. Uh, the choose of fabric, uh, the choose of uh, waterproofness, why we use uh, siliconized products, fabrics, uh, compared to, uh, for example, PU. You have some benefits and some drawbacks on both, but uh, all in all, we, we are convinced that the nylon with the silicon on both sides, nylon 66, is by far uh, the best choice in, in concerns of uh, dur durability and, uh, and in such a way that you will have a tent in many 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 years uh, to come and you, you, you should not be uh, in the need of uh, upgrading and uh, replacing your tent uh, because it's uh, gone bad and so on.